。在竞争激烈的娱乐圈，对艺人的要求越来越高，人们都会开玩笑地说，不会唱歌的主持人一定不是好演员。那么，在这个长江后浪推前浪的年代呢，演员不光是演演戏，歌手也不光是唱唱歌就可以安枕无忧了。Be in the future when you were very young. It's actually very funny because my mom put me in acting because she says I was too shy. You're too quiet. You, and people say hi to you and you don't say anything. So it's her fault that I wanted to do acting. So she puts me in a workshop in acting class, and I love it. And I just became like you know I started doing it, but I was still very very shy. So that's when it started. I was about、um, 13 years old. I started getting you know going into the workshops and acting class, and I completely fell in love with it. I want to be on TV. I want to do this. I want to do that. And that's how it all started. And it was just always on and off throughout you know the the course of the career. But you know I was act, I've been actively maybe the, for the past seven years. I've been you know doing finally. Dedicating myself to acting. TV, a personality, radio personality. I'm also. I also cover the news, the weather, the traffic. I mean, I edit, I produce, I script write. Also, what's also fun for me is acting and modeling, and you know, being able to、uh, work on the radio in the Los Angeles radio. You know, so I have a lot of jobs. Plus, being a mom is that being a job too? It <laughs> is a lifetime job. Yes, it is. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. Also, a writer, and I'm very well into my community. That I did by myself. It's、What's、called、that? the Real Red Riding Hood, and it's a small mini production because I wanted to do mini series, you know, for myself and also to give the opportunity to everyone to work together. And that was、uh, with Trevor Productions. We went out actually to the woods and we filmed, like you know, Red Riding Hood going out to Grandma's house and meeting the big bad wolf. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your girl Calypso, and we have a treat for you because we are literally going to blow your mind away. A lot of people come to this country, and they don't, you know, they don't want to pursue anything, or they're just happy with what they have, or raise their kids, or or whatnot. But I want something more. I want to make like an impact here, you know, make the use of it, get the education, and that's how it was. I didn't know English, and I come to school, and I'm like, hi. Hola, you know, <laughs> I don't know, you know. So it was really challenging and very hard. But then I grew up here all my life, you know, and I knew the language now. There's always other doors you can open. It's not the end of the world, and I always felt that it was.、Mm -hmm. But with me, I want to return that feeling, you know, with my writing. You know, if I'm gonna one day do a book, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna inspire somebody. Everybody goes through the obstacles, and I feel like I, you know, we have to change it around. Because if you stay in the same,、mm -hmm. you're gonna、It's、stay. It's never gonna change. Yeah,、mm -hmm. that's true.、Mm -hmm. On the big screen, I want to get a, a role that's going to make a difference. You know, not really aiming for the Oscars or the Emmys. I just want to do it because I love it. You know, and have fun. But I really am more into it a lot these past few years. Thank you so much. I love you all. LA. Come. 好了，本期的节目就是这样。我是肖云，我们下期完美主义再见。